Give me Acts chapter 319. You know why Christ died? This is so crazy that our people don't even know the purpose of Christ. Christ came for our people. He died so that way whatever sin you was in now, you can get forgiveness if you change your life. Because we want to prove that if our people don't wake up, they're going to die. We're trying to warn you. Now, me personally, I might have to be nice when I warn you. But when I see nonsense like what the sister displayed, I'm going to have to deal with it a little bit more harshly. Was Christ nice? Or did he flip over tables in the temple when they were doing craziness? Did he have a hard side? Of course he did. Our people don't know Christ. They don't know the real Christ. They know this whitewashed Christ. That white supremacist Christ. That's the Christ they know. They know this Christ right here. Oh, oh. That's who they know. That look like you got a Bible in your hand. I hope that's the King James Version. Read. You can read along with us. Tell them where you at. The book of, the book of Amos, chapter 9, and verse 10. All the sinners of my people. Let's get back to the point. Our people going to die because they're in sin. Read it again. All the sinners of my people. Oh, it says my people. How many of y'all foolishly still think everybody is God's people? I know what you're thinking. Some of you are like everybody. Red and yellow, black and white. Jesus loves the little children. No. The slave master taught you that. The slave master taught you that. God only has one people. Do you want us to prove that to you as well? How long y'all gonna think we lying to y'all and gonna trust in the past or the television or the voting poll? Our people gotta wake up. This is idiocracy. This is nonsense. Stupidity at its finest. Let's go to who God's people are. Give me um, Joel 2 and 27 first. We're going to come back there. Let's go. The book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Hold on. Are they going to know? Even if we read it to them right now, are they going to know that God is in the midst of Israel? Read it again, please. Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord, your God. Oh, our God? Your God. Okay. And none else. Whoa, it said none else but Israel? Wow. Anybody disagree with what God just said? Where you know? Nobody knew that, huh? Then you still going to go to church? That's what y'all going to do, right? Crickets out here. So listen, this is just an example of why people are lost and destroyed because they don't want to listen when their own people try to tell them something for their own good. That's why we're called stiff neck and children of Israel, because we act like little children that don't listen. Then I tell you don't do that. Then I tell you don't do that. Then I tell you. That's why we go through what we go through. Bring it out. Pissy Bring it elevators. Out. Bring it out. Pissy street Yo. corners. Bring it Garbage. Out. Women getting raped. Kids getting abducted. People shooting each other. People on drugs. Because our people don't want to listen. Right. Let's get Matthew 2 and 6 and connect Jesus to the fact that God is only for the Israelites. Right. Not my Jesus. Yeah, your Jesus is some other Jesus. We're talking about the Jesus of the Bible. That's right. Let's teach them this. Let's see if they'll believe this. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 2 and verse 6. Yeah. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. So Judah. The tribe of Judah are you so-called American blacks. There are 12 tribes. They have all been misnamed. The so-called Mexicans are the tribe of Issachar. Right. The so-called Seminole Indians are the tribe of Reuben. Right. The so-called Haitians are the tribe of Levi. Right. Those of you from Argentina and Chile are from Naphtali. Right. Our people must understand who they are according to the Bible and not subscribe to these false names that we've been given. West Indian, Caribbean, Hispanic. Those are all things that the slave master put on us. So right. we will be further destroyed, divide and conquer. Take the slave, make sure his mind is under our control. That's why we're still slaves today. Because our minds are not according to God. Wake up. Like, subscribe to the channel. IUIC Harlem, IUIC Brooklyn, Bronx, Mount Vernon. Let's go, stop playing games.
They're right. according to what you want to do. Right. Live as thou wilt. I'll do what I want. No, you're doing what your slave master allow you to do. Big man. Right. Read it again. And thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor. Out of Bethlehem, where Christ was born, there was gonna come a governor. What's a governor? Somebody that controls. So after America burns up, remember we read, all the sinners of our people are gonna die? That's why they're preparing nuclear weapons now. It's written in the Bible. Uh, I can't so me, New York, me. Brooklyn yeah. is gonna burn. So if you decide, oh, I love America. I don't want to read the Bible. I don't want to keep the commandments. You're going to die. Read on. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Oh, there's going to be a governor that rules his people Israel? Wow, who's the governor? Who is that? We finished with that? Yes, sir. Give me Matthew 15, 24. We're going to go back. Let's see who the governor is now. Is that going to be Trump? Who's the governor? All these corrupt ass politicians, y'all actually went to the poll. Y'all stood, y'all really stood in line and voted? Is that what y'all did? Y'all ain't learned by now? Y'all haven't learned by now they don't help our community? Y'all ain't learned yet, huh? Y'all gotta keep voting, huh? Read? The book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 24. But he answered and said, Hold on, this is Christ speaking. For those of you that don't read your Bible, these are the words in red. Christ answered somebody. We don't have time to read above. At this point, we're trying to make it very plain. If you don't believe us by now, maybe you're gonna die. Maybe God ain't chose to wake you up and keep your eyes closed, read. But he entered and said, I am not sent, but until the lost sheep of stop, the- Stop, stop, God did not send me only to the lost sheep. Who's lost? Who can't trace their history back to a, a Ming dynasty in China? Or the Suzuki in Japan? Who can't chase their, trace their dynasty back to Nottingham and the United Kingdom? Who can't trace their dynasty back to the Caucasus Mountains if they're so-called white people? Yo, who can trace their dynasty back to their great, 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 great? great? Anybody out here? Because when we went in those books, so a witch from Jamaica, she could cook, she could bear children. They put your name down, $150. Now your new name is Johnson, Foreman. So we can't trace our head, so we're not talking about that. Read it again. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep. Christ is only sent to those that's lost, the few Hispanics, Native Americans, and Blacks. Y'all just gotta wake up. Right, Or stay asleep. Because everybody not meant to wake up. Let me tell you that. The Bible tells us that. Some of our people are destined for sleep. Right. The eternal sleep. The long sleep. That's right. Read it again. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Christ is only here for us. Right. So if that bus, you know that bus, some people like, yo, where that bus at? That bus ain't come, you know why? Because God wants you to hear this message. Yes. So after we had a sister try to get crazy, we had to correct it. So let's tone it down a notch, and let's give y'all some good stuff that you can hear. Give me Acts chapter 319. You know why Christ died? This is so crazy that our people don't even know the purpose of Christ. Christ came for our people. He died so that way whatever sin you was in now, you can get forgiveness if you change your life. Right. That's very important. Because in the Old Testament, if you was a homosexual, there was no sacrifice, no animal you could give up. You had to be put to death. That's right. Today is the Sabbath day. In the Old Testament, if you broke the Sabbath day, like what our people are doing by selling and buying, you would die. Right. There's no sacrifice for breaking the Sabbath. If you was in idolatry, celebrating your birthday, celebrating Christmas, Easter, all these wicked holidays, you would die. There was no sacrifice. That's why we are Israel united in Christ. Israel, because that's the people. Before it was a place, it was a person. That's our forefather. You right. blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Christ laid his life down for us. Right. Because in these last days, we don't got no animals that we can sacrifice. Right. And it had to be done a certain way. That's the difference between the Old and New Testament. Next time you go to church, ask your pastor that. See if your pastor going to tell you the truth on that. 
so the good news, the gospel, because that's what gospel means, good news, is that our people can change our ways and get the kingdom of heaven. That's the good news for y'all, okay? See, we toned it down. That's the that's good news for y'all. We're going to prove it to you. So from now on, you hear anybody read this Bible, if they don't prove it out the Bible, you should know that Amen. they're a devil, meaning a deceiver. Right. Read. Book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Yeah. Repent ye therefore. God is telling us all to repent, myself too. I had to change. You know what I was doing out here? I'm not going to tell y'all because it ain't y'all business. <laughs> but I'm going to give y'all an example. Hold on, give me 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. We're going to yes. come back. So repentance is open for all of God's people. Right. Uh-oh, there I go again. Y'all like everybody. No, God's people are the Israelites. Right. Repentance is only open to them. If you change your way, you say, God, something that you put inside my spirit is causing me to pray to you and say, just show me the way. I did wrong. I want to be right. Now you're on the path. Hopefully you will learn the commandments, you change your ways, now you get the kingdom of heaven. You know what's important? In the kingdom of heaven, there's no more aches and pains. Yeah, we don't have any extra. That's why we're reading out of it, so hopefully if you listen, you'll know where we're reading from, and you can check to see if we're lying, even though we're not. So in the kingdom of heaven, men, damn, should I even say this? Now, it's a lot of women. I'm going to just say the men, they're going to take their rightful place as rulers, and women, you gotta be back to being princesses. That's right. You don't gotta worry about your breast sagging. Right. I'm being honest. That's Bring what the Bible says. You're gonna be like a polished palace. That's gonna be bad. Get out. Right. You ain't gotta worry about no gut, no menstrual no more. Because right. of what Eve did, not yeah. listening to her husband. That's why you gotta menstrual now when you read Genesis 3. Bring so the kingdom out. of heaven, everything is perfect. Right. The men rule. Right. Our kids are gonna be in order. Right. So who don't wanna go to the kingdom of heaven? Who want to say, yo, I'd rather America's way? Which one of y'all want to do that? Read. Bring it out. Read. Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Bring it out. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So these are some of the things you got to change besides what we already discussed. It's unrighteous to God if you do these things. Go. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators. Fornicators are people that have sex outside of marriage. Like people that have sex with animals. People that have sex with all types of other inanimate objects. People Teach. be putting stuff on, whether it's a dildo, this or that. Fornication is lewdness. Sex outside of marriage. Teach. Hold up, what kind of marriage? The one that America allows? No, man, woman, that marriage. That's right. So Bring if you decide, oh, I can't get with that, then you'll be a sinner and you're going to die by the sword. Uh, Read on. No idolaters. We talked about idolatry. Any of you got a cross on? That's an example of idolatry. You may not know, but the cross was an instrument used to kill our people. The cross killed people. That was a punishment to use. So if you watch some movies like Spartacus, they will show you a row of Israelites where they was put on crosses, some hanged upside down. We know, hopefully I should know, Christ was killed on the cross. So you should not wear a cross or you're in idolatry. You that's go to the right. church that teaches you false things, that's idolatry. What? You celebrate any holiday of America, holly, like the Hollywood that's used in black spells, the wands, holly day, you're in idolatry. Right. Everything we're telling you, look it up. You think we lied to you. Read on. No adulterers. Adultery is when you have sex outside of marriage. I think a lot of people know that. They still do it, but... We don't. Nor effeminate. Effeminate are all you weak men. Right. Effeminate. You have feminine ways. That's why we're talking to you like men. That's, That's right. what we are, like Christ. Austere. Right. We right. don't right. play with nobody. But remember, we can tone it down. We can keep it cool with you, cordial. you. But if you try to act crazy, like we don't know what we're talking about, or disrespectful, now we got to turn it up on you. Right. We don't. Nor thieves. You can't be stealing, committing fraud, dealing falsely. Go ahead. Nor covetous. Covetous are people that want ill-gotten things, meaning, oh, I see that. What's that going to lead to? Maybe murder, maybe stealing. Right. God tell us to be content because there ain't going to be so many people that get rich. Most of us are just getting by. Yeah, we get a tax return, we get our paycheck, but then we got taxes, we got bills, things happen. So you got to be content with what God gives you. Because this life is a test. He's going to test you and see if you're going to steal for it. If you're going to kill for it. 
or we're gonna be content. We nor drunkards. That's self-explanatory. Some of our people drink too early. They don't know when to say when, as they say. These are the things that are sin. Anybody passed that we told them, ever told them that? Anybody? 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 Y'all better come up out of them churches. Nor revilers, nor extortioners. A reveler are those people that like arguments, that like fights. That's a reveler, right? Nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Now this is the point. When I told you all of us, we were not righteous. Before we started doing what we do for the Lord, we was just like y'all. Just like the apostles. Let's prove it, read. And such were some of you. Some of the apostles did all those things we just read. That's why the good news is that all of us could change. That's the purpose of Christ, to change. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models.